Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to install WordPress on SiteGround. So before we dive in, I just wanted to mention that I'll have a link below that ensures that you're going to be getting the lowest price on SiteGround. If you want to use it and support my channel, you can check out WPWithTom.com slash SiteGround. Once you use that, you'll be taken to this page and then we can get started with the WordPress install process. I've been a SiteGround user for several years now and they're easily one of the best hosting options that you can get started with when you're using WordPress. They've got fast hosting, great support, and amazing uptime. However, SiteGround actually made some changes recently to WordPress and how it works. Not only did they move to Google Cloud, which makes it faster, they also added two new data centers to speed up loading times for users all over the world and the big change they made is how you install WordPress within their platform. You're no longer going to be using the cPanel WordPress install process, but one that is unique to SiteGround and their platform. So let's dive into how to actually set it up by going through the process of purchasing a domain and hosting and then installing WordPress in this video. So to get started here, I'm going to go and click on where it says WordPress hosting. And then here, there's three different options. I actually recommend the Grow Big plan right here out of these three options because you're able to host unlimited websites with this, whereas you're only going to get one website with the startup plan. In my opinion, you can go from the Grow Big and upgrade to Go Geek if you need more space for more visitors, but early on, it's unlikely that you're going to see more than 25,000 visitors. So I think the Grow Big plan is the way to go if you're just getting started out and you want to make multiple websites. I remember I started out with one website and I've probably made hundreds since then. So I recommend that you go with the Grow Big. In reality, I think it's just the best value out of these plans. So if we go over here, I'm actually going to use the startup for this example and show you how to install WordPress on it. So let's go and click Get Plan. And then here we're going to need to input our domain name that we're going to register. So if you already have a domain name and you've registered it somewhere else, you can use this option, but for this process, I'm going to go through it as if we don't have a domain name yet, and I'll register a new domain name. So the domain I'm going to go with right here is called growwebsites.com, and I'm just going to go and click proceed right here. You can see it's $15.95 a year for the domain name, and if it is available, it will say congratulations, and it will tell you that it is available to register. So from here, you're going to need to fill out your account and client information, as well as your payment information right here. I'm actually going to pause the video here for a second while you do that, and then I'll scroll down to this area, the purchase information, and we can go over this part of the website plan itself here. All right, so I filled out the information above with my personal information, and down here within the purchase information and extra services, I want to make sure that we put domain privacy enabled right here. And the reason that we do this is it keeps your information private. If it's not checked in this case, then any domain name that you register, it doesn't matter where you register it, SiteGround is no exception to this, that people can see your information such as your phone number and your email and you will get spammed. So I highly recommend that you check domain privacy right here. And then from here, I'm just going to go down and click I confirm. You can read the terms and service and privacy policy if you'd like. And then here, I'm going to go and click pay now. So this is going to take us to the next page here in a second. And we can see that it says your order was successfully submitted. Your account was successfully created. So once you've done that, you're actually probably going to get an email and you're going to want to just verify that email to that address to make sure your website and domain plan are verified with SiteGround. From here, we're going to just go and click proceed to customer area. And once this loads up here, it's going to just take a second. We can go to where it says set up site. And then once we click on that, we're going to be able to start to make our new website. So it says start new website, install a new application. We'll just click on that. And then we'll go down here and we'll choose select WordPress. And here we're going to need to put in our WordPress login and password. This is something that you're going to need to remember. So you might want to write this down but you're going to need to refer to this to log into WordPress each time. So I'm just going to write one right now. I'm just going to make it the same that I had for the actual admin username and password that I set up a second ago. And then once you're happy with that, you can go and click continue. 
and now it says SG Site Scanner. I'm actually not going to use that. I'm just going to go and click where it says Finish right here. And now it says Creating Your Website. This process can take up to two minutes. So if you haven't already verified your email, I would go and do that now while this is going into place here for this potential two minutes to create your site. And now it says we're all set up here. What we'll want to do now is go and click Manage Site. So if you actually have your domain name somewhere else, you might want to grab these right here. And these are name servers, and then you'll point them to SiteGround. So then it will be hosted at SiteGround. Since we went through the process of registering our domain name here, we'll go to where it says Manage Site. And then from here, we'll be redirected to a new area. And then here, this is basically our dashboard for our SiteGround install here. So if we were to go up here and just go to Grow Websites, and I'm going to just open this in a new tab, growwebsites.com, you can see here's our website, but right here it does not have SSL enabled. So to actually go and enable that and make our website secure, we need to go over here to where it says Security, SSL Manager, and then we're going to find our domain name. I only have one here. And then I'll go and click Let's Encrypt and Get. So that gets us Let's Encrypt. It can take a couple minutes for this to go into effect, but that will give us our SSL certificate for this website. And we just have to do one step after this to make it go into effect fully. So it says our request is being processed now. And now it says our Let's Encrypt is installed for GrowWebsites.com. So if I went back here and I refresh, you're going to see that it's actually still not in place here. So to make it fully go into place, we can go down to where it says HTTPS Enforce. And then from in this area, we're going to need to toggle on our HTTPS Enforce right here. And now it says success. It was enabled. So it might take a couple minutes to go into effect, but that is how you enable your site secure lock and make this secure right here on our website. And then we can go and start building our website. So we go over here and we would just type slash WP admin right behind our URL right here, our domain name. So it's growwebsites.com slash WP hyphen admin. And then in this area, we put in the information that we just set up for our login and password to get in here. So let's put that in right now to log in to the back end of our website. And I'm going to just put in my password. And I'll just click login here. If you lose your password, it can be resent to you, but I'll click login now. And here we are within the website itself. I'm going to go and just click exit right here in this WordPress starter area. And here we are in the dashboard of our website. So that is how you are able to install WordPress on SiteGround. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to do that. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more WordPress related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.